Miss Verlaine, Gail. Our good friend W. Clement Stone, one of this country's wealthiest and most successful business leaders, formed the habit in the early days of his career of saying, that's good. Whenever anything happened, good or bad, most of the time, of course, it was something good. But even when he learned of a near calamity, a deadly serious situation that would have sent a lesser man scurrying for cover, he'd smile and say, that's good. Then as his associates shook their heads in resigned disbelief, he'd tear headlong into the problem and find what was good in it. And invariably, some element in the situation could be turned to advantage. Now, there are times when misfortunes come down on all of us in bunches like bananas. Yet if we understand that something good can usually be found in almost any situation, we'll go quietly and efficiently to work on the most important part of the problem, the one that can be turned to advantage. When that's taken care of, we can go on to the next part. That's the best thing we can do, and it's the mature way to get rid of discouragement before it gets rid of us. Some of the most successful people I know have at one time or another been forced by a stretch of poor productivity to analyze their methods and use of time. Now, a dry spell is no fun for anyone, but it's often the only situation extreme enough to get us to look at ourselves, find out what we're doing, why we're doing it, and whether this is the best possible way it can be done. As Emerson said, when a man is pushed, tormented, defeated, he has a chance to learn something. Within any discouraging situation, there's almost always lurking an opportunity for growth, maturity, and future success. There's something good about it. What may at the moment seem like the end of the world won't seem so important in ten days and won't be very important in ten months. Take the long-range view and you can't be defeated by momentary setbacks. The next time you're tempted to feel discouraged about something, try taking the attitude of W. Clement Stone. Simply say, that's good, and then start finding out what is good about it. This is all night, Gail, and thank you.